Before we get into our training video, if by chance you found this video as a recommended video on YouTube, this training video is actually part of an extensive Corel Draw for Beginners training series from AdvancedTShirts.com. We have developed dozens of videos and we also have available on our website downloadable work along files that you can work with in Corel Draw while you're working through the training videos. Easily the best and fastest way to learn. If these videos are helpful to you, please take a second to add a like to the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can be notified when we upload new video content. And of course, in the comment section below, you can post your questions or your Corel Draw video tutorial requests. In this video, we'll take a look at the zoom and pan tool. I don't use these tools very much because I mostly work with the mouse and the center mouse wheel. But I will use the zoom tool if I want to zoom into a very specific area. Over here in the toolbar, you'll come down and you'll see the icon for the zoom tool. Left click and you'll change to that tool. Then you'll notice that the property bar has changed. It's changed to the zoom tool properties. Now, as you can see, there's some different settings here. Now we're set at a 94% zoom level. You can click zoom in or control plus plus and zoom out from here, but that would be quite a bit of work if you're going to move around like that. Now, if I want to zoom into a specific area, I will use it via a lasso method, which would be left click, hold down, drag. Let's say I want to move right into that lasso zoom release and I'll zoom right in there and then I can just pull back on the center mouse wheel to zoom out which is why I'll use that but usually that's what I'll do when I'm working with the zoom tool if I want to zoom right into something in a very precise way I'll use that and we do have some features for the zoom tool up here in the properties bar we can zoom to page page width or page height. We also have some shortcuts that we can use for this. I can hit the Z key on my keyboard. I'll just press that. That'll change to the zoom tool. I'll hit H for hand. That'll change to the pan tool and I can move the entire workspace around. I'll go back to the pick tool by hitting or pressing the space key on my keyboard. I can also you can also use the keyboard shortcuts and hot keys. If I left click, hold down and select an object or objects such as the soccer champs graphic that we have on the page here and I hit shift F2, I'll zoom to that object. If I hit or press shift F4, I'll zoom to page as you can see there. And if I just hit F4, I'll zoom to all objects. Now these aren't keyboard shortcuts that I use very often, but sometimes I do. They do come in handy and you'll find them in the documentation for the zoom and pan tools on the website. So we're looking at zoom. Now let's look at pan. Just to explain this, panning is really like moving around in the workspace, as you can see, sliding around. And you could be with the pan tool and still pull back with your mouse wheel and move in with your mouse wheel. And that's how panning works. So we'll wrap here concerning the zoom and pan tools and we'll continue in our next video.